Uh, hello everyone, this is Scott McRae. Uh, in the following video, I'm going to be showing you how to make 100 milliliters of CDH4000, which is a 4000 parts per million uh, chlorine dioxide uh, solution. Okay, um, what you're going to need is uh, the following. First of all, you need a 100 milliliter bottle. Um, I'm using uh, hot water. Uh, it's about 80 degrees centigrade, 80 to 90 degrees centigrade, but you can use cold water. I'm going to be using hot water because it, it makes the process go a lot faster with the activation, and it's easier to see uh, on the video. It'll happen pretty much immediately. Uh, and then 20% sodium chloride and 4% hydro hydrochloric acid. So that's what you need in order to make a, a 100 milliliters of CDH4000, which is 4,000 parts per million chlorine, chlorine dioxide. Before making the CDH, I want to go over the uh, bottle and the cap uh, that you'll need in order to do this properly. Uh, first of all, I prefer to use a glass bottle. In a pinch, you could use a PET bottle, um, but glass is always uh, better. Um, now, I've got a 100 milliliter bottle here, but uh, you could scale this up. You could do a liter, you could do 10 liters, you know. You could do as much as you want, basically. You just need a big enough container to do it in. Uh, but it's easy, uh, or it's a good way uh, to, to demonstrate it is with 100 milliliters. And that way, uh, if you just scale up using the same ingredients, you can see how easy it is to make. 200 milliliters, 500 milliliters, 1,000, etc. Uh, the cap is very important because uh, CDH 4,000 is very concentrated. Um, it will, you know, at 4,000 parts per million, it will melt a like a silicone rubber type of a cap. I'm not exactly sure what it's made out of, uh, but this is a, a good example of a cap that works. Basically, uh, what's Inside here is a, as the seal is a LDPE plastic, so it's low density polyethylene plastic, and, and this has the seal built into the cap. Uh, another good approach is it was just with a plug, and then the plug goes in the bottle, and then you have a cap here that has it doesn't have a seal, and it gets screwed onto the top, and so then by doing that, uh, this makes a, a really great seal and it protects the cap. This plug is LDPE also, low density polyethylene. So uh, it's it's a it's a really good way to go. Another option is another type of cap. This cap here uh, has a built-in LDPE plug and this is actually my favorite uh, cap and uh, again uh, it won't break down because it is LDPE. These work great. Here's an example of what not to use. Okay, so this has a, if you touch it, it feels like a, a rubberized seal. Um, you can put your fingernail into it. Let's see here, it's kind of hard to see that. But anyway, you know, it moves around actually. It's, it's fairly, it's really flexible. And I don't know if that's silicone or, or what, but it's like rubbery feeling and you don't want to use it. Okay, so. Another part of the equipment that I recommend are pipettes. So this one I've labeled with CDH. Um, it's, it's marked in 0.5 milliliter increments. So that's 0.5, 1, uh, 1.5, 2, 2.5, and 3. This is also LDPE material, so it does not break down. So, and they work great, great way to to uh, put the ingredients in to make this, and also to measure out the CDH 4000 once it's made. I always label all of my pipettes so that I don't mix them up and I put them in separate bags so that they don't uh, contaminate each other, mix the ingredients. Okay, so now to make 100 milliliters of CDH4000, um, you start off with, with your water, 
and uh, you just fill the, bo the bottle up about three quarters of the way like that. We just need to make sure we have enough room for the sodium chloride and the hydrochloric acid. And then we're going to add the sodium chloride first and we're just going to do five milliliters of that. So five milliliters of sodium chloride. Okay, this is a, a three milliliter pipette. So that's three milliliters. And then we need two. So that's two. So that's five milliliters of sodium chloride. Then we need five milliliters of four percent hydrochloric acid. And I try to get the ingredients as close as possible to the right amount because I want to know when I'm done that I actually have 4,000 parts per million. I don't want to have less. So there you go. Then we top that off with uh, more water to bring it up to the 100 milliliter mark. it. Again, I'm putting on the good cap, LDPE, and this is hot to the touch. So, now, I by the time that bottle's cool, um, it should be done, basically. And what I like to do is uh, shake it, just keep on shaking it every now and then, in order to uh, thoroughly mix the ingredients. So I'll just give it a shake. Okay. And I'll do that, you know, every so often, maybe every 10, 20 minutes. And again, by the time the bottle's cool, it should be done. If you can put it in a warm place where it'll stay warm longer, that's probably a good idea. But basically, with this method, it should be done, you know, fully activated within, I would say, 10 hours. And that, that's just being safe. It might actually be done after the bottle's cool, which could be, um, let's say, a couple hours. Of course, the cooler your room is, then the, uh, the, the faster it's going to cool down. So you know, I like to keep it in a warmer place so that it'll, it'll stay warm um, longer and uh, it'll have more of a chance to activate. So that's it. That's how easy it is to make 4,000 parts per million chlorine dioxide, uh, CDH 4,000, 100 milliliters of it. Again, to, to scale this up, um, if I wanted 200 milliliters, of course, then I would take uh, 90 milliliters of water times 2, which would be 180. And I would take the 5 milliliters that I use for 100, and I just double that. So it'd be 10. So I'd have 10 milliliters of sodium chloride and 10 milliliters of hydrochloric acid combined uh, with the 180 milliliters of water, and that would give me 200 milliliters of CDH 4000. Now, if you use cool water or just you know uh, room temperature water, then I, I like to say give it 24 hours. Uh, give it more time to activate. It may not actually need that much time but just 24 hours would be safe. My goal here is to get it uh, fully activated so that it's at 4,000 parts per million and I you know, I know what I'm working with. Once the amount of hydrochloric acid, which is 
that we put there is used up, so you know it's basically consumed in, through the activation process, then uh, it can't activate anymore. And so even though there is additional sodium chloride in the mixture that hasn't been activated yet, and there's, there's about 50% um, of the sodium chloride still has not been activated, uh, even though that's the case, you know, it, it won't continue getting stronger. It, again, because there's, there's no more hydrochloric acid to continue the activation. So it'll stop right at about 4,000 parts per million. And again, that way you know that, you know, what you're working with and that you've got, you've got a known, you know, parts per million you're working with. So this is a hundred milliliter bottle and uh, it's a spray bottle. If I took one milliliter of this and I combined it with um, 99 milliliters of water, uh, so here I got 4,000 parts per million once it's completed. I combine that in a in 100 milliliters of water. I'm going to have 40 parts per million in this spray bottle. And it's not going to continue getting higher. It's 40 parts per million. Okay. If I use 2, mil, two milliliters of this and I put it in here, I'll have 80. Right. So the, to figure the parts per million uh, when you dilute it, especially in a 100 milliliter bottle, it's very easy to do. So, let's say I wanted to um, make a bunch of hand sanitizer at 80 parts per million, and I wanted to, to make a liter of it. Well, instead of using 2 milliliters of this in 100 milliliters, I'd go 10 times 2, or 20. So I'd put 20 milliliters of this into a liter of water, and I would end up with 80 parts per million. I'd have a one liter of 80 parts per million. Okay, well now you can see how easy it is to make uh, 100 milliliters of CTH 4000, which is 4000 parts per million. Oh, by, by the way, I, one thing I did want to mention, the reason why I used a clear bottle is so you could see the activation process. Ideally, you would always want to use a uh, like a chocolate brown bottle, a brown glass, or colored glass to block any UV light and you don't want to uh, allow the sunlight to hit the chlorine dioxide okay because it that will cause it to degrade um, so when I mentioned earlier about uh, keeping it in a warm place I, I do <laughs> I do not mean put it in the sunlight okay sunlight would not be a good thing okay uh, thank you very much. Please uh, like the video uh, if you uh, liked it and learned something from it. And please uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.